Okay, we're going to look at two different ways to post a landing page to Facebook and then we'll go ahead and boost it. Now, if you want to create a landing page, I'm on landing pages right now in Agent 3000 here and there's a how-to video here if you want to learn how to create one, but that's a little beyond the scope of uh, what we're trying to cover here. This is strictly about getting them on Facebook. So I'm going to scroll down and click on one that I've already created. Um, I got this instantly view Miami pool homes under 400,000. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL out of the address bar at the top and then I'm going to go to my Facebook page and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to paste it in there. Now a lot of people don't know this that after you paste in a URL uh, it's already linked to this image I can go ahead and backspace this out and now you're going to want to write something like this like click the image below to instantly view Miami pool homes under 400,000 and then I can go ahead and post that. Now, if I refresh uh, the page here so we can see it on the uh, timeline. And then there it is. And if I, if I go ahead and I click on this, because it says click the image, like I said, it, it linked it right to the uh, landing page there. Now, you'll notice if I look back at the landing page here, it had this dialogue there. And uh, this is... What Facebook does is it always grabs a background image or whatever image you can find on a website that you paste in there and it uses that image. Okay, so this isn't an image. This is a dialogue like on top of it with the text that I've used for the call to action. So um, that doesn't go there. So if we go back and look at it again, you can see there's nothing there. That's why I had to write click image below to instantly view, um, which seemed redundant because as we know, we already had it on here. Now, if you want it to post this way, Again, we'll copy the address, or copy the URL out of the address bar. We're gonna go back into Agent 3000. We're gonna to go to Social Media Tools. And then there's a program here called Website Screenshot Share. We're gonna go ahead and paste that URL in there. We're gonna leave these unchecked. We don't need either one of those options. Again, you can watch the video if you wanna learn about the screenshot uh, share there, but um, it tells you it takes 10 to 15 seconds to create. It's usually a little bit quicker than that, but. So uh, what it's doing is, is actually making it, you know, just like it says, a screenshot of that page. So now if we scroll down, see how we got the screenshot there and it's got the dialogue on it. And we have a Facebook icon right here that we can pick. And then we can share, like in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to say share on a page you manage. And I'm going to put on this Agent 3000 test page. Now I really don't need to write anything here because it says right on there, instantly view, you know, Miami pool homes under 400,000. So all I would do is I would scroll down here, I would click post. And then if we go back to our Facebook page and we refresh, And we scroll down and then see the difference. So we have the uh, dialog here. Again, if I click this now, it's gonna go ahead and pop up and uh, or go straight to that page. Now, the big difference here is everybody has different philosophies. Like, you know, some people um, feel that they would rather have the image here because they wanna get them to actually click on the image, go to the page, and then they're already on the page and they're hoping they'll give their information. Um, other people say, no, I, I want them to know that they're going to have to give their information. So if I'm boosting this, they're not wasting my money, like, like you know, by clicking on something and then, you know, like, you know, bouncing after they've, uh, they've already gone there. So I'm not going to say which philosophy is right or wrong. Like, like, you know, everybody, like, you know, they, they do them both ways. I see them all the time on Facebook pages and, and, uh, you know, either way. So whatever, whatever method you like. Now, once you decide which one you want on there. Uh, you'll always have this button here like it says boost post again remember we're posting these on a business page you can't put these on your regular timeline or you won't have the boost post it always has to be on a business page so if we click this boost post it's going to pop up and show you what the ad's going to look like there and you got these choices here send people um, to your website link clicks from a dollar a day like again then post engagements we don't really care about post engagement, so you know we want to get leads, so we're going to leave it default that the link clicks from a dollar a day. Um, now, this is super important. Your ad will not be approved if you do not uh, check this uh, special ads category. And then from the drop down, you have to pick housing. So if you do not do that, you'll get an email. Like you'll go ahead and uh, boost it, and then you'll get an email from Facebook sometime in the next 24 hours 
that says, sorry, your uh, ad has not been approved. So make sure you do that. Um, and then it tells you right here, like, you know, about the special ad category. Now, um, it, it's telling you that these things have been adjusted and limited. Like, so in other words, if I wanted to change the uh, people in my audience, like, you know, let's say I wanted to have it 40 to 65 or something, you'll see here this option is fixed and cannot be changed. Um, and then this same thing, like, you know, for, uh, you know, the gender, you can't choose it. Now I can change the location. So um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of Florida and I'm going to put in Miami and then it's going to automatically default to a 15. You cannot go less than 15 mile radius. That's the, the minimum that they'll allow you to do so, but you can increase that if you want. You know, I could even type it in here. I could say, you know, 20 um, or you can pick on the slider here and you know you can adjust it there and I just may change it to 16 but the uh, um, let's go ahead and bump it up a little bit oh now it's 19 miles so anyway you can go ahead and choose that now you can also pick interests and behaviors um, you know maybe you want you know you only want people that are interested in uh, uh, swimming pools you go ahead and do that. So like what that's going to do is anytime people are um, on their own timelines and are talking about pools or they've liked other pages of pools, swimming pools and things like that, it's going to show. So um, again, the more criteria you put in here, it's going to limit it like, you know, how many people are going to see your ads. So some people just like to leave it wide open. Other people, like I said, like depending on what you're um, doing, if you were doing like luxury waterfront homes, maybe your interest would be boating or yachting or something like that. So um, again, you can go ahead and pick, uh, you know, the criteria there you want. Um, so now it says potential uh, audience size fewer, fewer than a, a thousand people. So if I took that back out, you see it's 2.5 million people. So that's what I'm saying. The more things you put in there, uh, the more granular you're going to get and less people are going to see your ad. So again, you'll just have to make a, a decision on, on what you want to do there. So, uh, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Um, you got the automatic placements. So like you want to leave that on. Like, like you know, that maximizes your budget and uh, they deliver it to where they think it's going to be, you know, best played or, you know, best uh, uh, converted. So, and you can always click the learn more button. It'll pop up a, a new tab for you and, and tell you more about, you know, what that does and how the delivery placements work and where things go. But, um, but we're going to go ahead and leave that on. Um, then for the duration, you decide how long you want to run this ad for, like what you want the end date to be. Like, you know, I'm going to, you know, just leave it at five days. You can say your total budget. Um, and then if, you know, it'll calculate it down here for, you know, it gets, you know, obviously the five days at $10 is going to spend $2 per day. It's going to run for five days, going to end on March 26. So, um, and then it tells you here, the MS estimated people is going to reach so like, you know, between 330 and 950 people per day. Um, so, um, you're only going to be paying when people are clicking on your ads. So like, you know, just, you know, I mean, if it might go to 950 people and if nobody clicked on your ad, well, then you're not, you know, paying anything. So, um, and then down here is going to be your payment method. I've already got a payment method in there. If you don't, it's going to ask you to add your credit card information and then that's it. And then you just go ahead and you click on the boost and that'll be it. I'm not going to go ahead and boost this, but the, uh, but it, once you do boost it, um, it'll, it'll go ahead and start running the ad. So. Um, hopefully that helps you out and uh, good luck with your ads.